It is Luke Skywalker Friday morning. Come, let us meditate like a Jedi. An individual wrote asking about the practicals of being non judgmental. Like most things in communication, the phrase non judgmental could be taken literally or figuratively. A common theme on my teachings is that the most poignant spiritual teachings are figurative, and when they are taken literally, the results are disastrous. For instance, if someone tells tells me that they can, they have, they have mastered non-duality and everything is the same, I really doubt that they're going to treat uh, a steaming pile of doggy doo that they encounter on the morning walk with um, organic, dark, uh, fair trade chocolate. If they can't tell the difference, <laughs> I'm not going to eat their dessert. And I'm going to make sure not to sample their breath. <laughs> we evolved the capacity to discern that the beneficial from the harmful. Um, that our survival mechanisms are metaphorically baked into our cake. And that's a very good thing. So in the spiritual teachings, when the wise speak of being non-judgmental. They mean that when we discern something is detrimental, that we take a rational response to it. We don't uh, become completely consumed with fear, completely controlled by rage. Uh, we might feel those things, those things are natural, but the difference between the neophyte and the master is not what they feel, but whether they are free from the tyranny of what they feel. As long as we are puppets on a string, uh, dancing to the whim of our emotions, as long as our intentions and utterances, I'm sorry, as long as our choices, utterances, and deeds are controlled by our emotions and impulses, we are going to have a very difficult life. The liberation Buddha offers us, it's not liberation from the capacity to feel an emotion, but liberation from the tyranny of that emotion. That, that liberation is not accomplished through belief or through self-control, but by working with our autonomic nervous system in cooperation with our cerebral cortex um, in a method described as mindfulness and meditation.